Hey, I'm Kendrick Coleman, and today I'm going to introduce you to Jump Squares. Jump Squares is a new innovative bookmark focused on data center environments. To date, it seems like every application, monitoring program, and piece of infrastructure has its own web-based interface. And if you're anything like me, then you probably have a bunch of messy bookmarks just like this so you can remember where all your different applications are installed. In fact, I had trouble keeping track of six different VMware environments with about 100 different applications. So at first, I really wanted to create something that is going to be visually appealing, as well as wanted to create something that's going to be different than any other kind of bookmarking service that's out there. Really, I wanted to bring in visual context and faster access to the applications and the servers that are hosting those applications. So this is going to be focused on any kind of application, network, storage, or virtualization administrator that may have dozens of storage arrays, hundreds of switches and routers, or even thousands of applications. After creating a jumpscores.net account, we want to go ahead and log in. After we log in, we're going to be presented with the home screen. This home screen is going to be showing any jump scores that we have configured. We also have search and sort capabilities, so we can quickly access a particular jump square. Jump scores as also has a tagging functionality that we can see on the left-hand side that allows us to quickly filter those jump squares with a specific tag. But let's go ahead and click the plus sign to quickly create a jump square. This past week, I configured our VMware Horizon view environment, so let's create a jump square for it. So we know that the application is going to be my view admin portal. I know that I need to choose an application tag to be able to give it some visual representation and context. So I want to choose the VMware Horizon View application type. So I need to enter a jump location. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste over the URL here. This can be an HTTP, HTTPS, as well as can use SSH and RDP. You can read more about it by clicking on the help module here. Now I need to enter the IP address or DNS name of the host server. The host server should be pretty simple to see here. This is my server where the application is installed. Since this is a Windows-based box, I'm going to choose an RDP access method. I can also choose SSH or VNC. I can learn more about them by clicking on this help module here as well. Now that I have that, I can choose some tags. Since I know this is my home lab, and as well that this is going to be for my VDI environment, I can choose this. Now, I can also enter a description. This description can be such as usernames, passwords, configuration parameters. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put the word example in here so you can see what this is going to look like after we create it. So let's click on the home button and now we can see it on our home page. We have a visual representation of the types of applications that we have installed and we can access them easily. We can do a search for view or we can hit the VDI tag. If we hover over the jump square we can see the destination link as well as the description we entered. If we click on it we're brought to our home page. If we hover over the server we can see the access method and if we click on it we're actually going to be generating an RDP file to quickly access the RDP location for this particular virtual machine. If we configure a server using SSH, we can utilize the Fire SSH plugin for Firefox to quickly access the server from our browser directly. Since JumpScores is a mobile-ready application, we can utilize our settings to change the size of the images that are being depicted on the home screen. We can also change the length of the text that's being utilized. So let's go ahead and update our jump square size and look at the home screen. And now we have smaller images that can be utilized on a mobile ready device. Thanks for taking this quick tour and now you're ready to get started creating your own jump squares.